Good morning, everyone. Today, I want us to reflect on something that we often find so hard to do, yet it has the power to change everything. It's the act of letting go and trusting God. Let me ask you this, how many of us hold on so tightly to our plans, our fears, and our anxieties that we forget to just breathe, to let go? We cling to our worries like they are a part of us. But what if we simply allowed ourselves to release those worries? What if we could trust that, even when things aren't going as we planned, there's a greater plan for each of us? I know it's not always easy. Life throws challenges our way. We face moments of heartbreak, disappointment, and even hopelessness. In these times, it's natural to want to take control, to try to force outcomes and make things happen. But you see, control is an illusion. True peace doesn't come from clenching our fists and forcing our plans. It comes from opening our hands, releasing our grip, and saying, God, I trust you with this. Let me tell you something about trust. Trust isn't passive. It's not about doing nothing. Trusting God doesn't mean we sit back without taking steps, but it does mean that we're willing to step forward, even if we don't see the whole path. It means that we walk by faith, not by sight. Taking that first step in faith creates room for God to step in with the rest. And sometimes when life seems hardest, that's when faith is calling us the loudest, the loudest. That's when we're being asked to replace fear with faith. Fear has this way of holding us down, making us feel like we're sinking. But when we choose faith, we rise above. Faith says, I may not understand why this is happening, but I know it has a purpose. Faith says, I may not know what's next, but I know I'm not walking alone. Each of us here has a journey, and along that journey, we'll face moments when we feel lost. When you're in those moments, when everything seems uncertain, I encourage you to look up, take a deep breath, and let go. Release your need to control every detail. Let God work in ways you may not expect. Sometimes the most beautiful blessings are the ones we never saw coming. So let's choose today to let go, to step forward in faith, and to trust God with the rest. Because when we let go, we give him room to lead us where we truly need to be. Imagine the feeling of carrying a heavy weight every single day. It's like walking with a backpack filled with every fear, every worry, every what if. We drag it with us from one place to the next. And even when we're exhausted, we hold on, convinced that if we just work a little harder, if we just keep trying to control every outcome, somehow we'll feel better. But deep down, we know that weight isn't serving us. It's pulling us down. Keeping us tied to our anxieties and making us believe that we're the only ones who can carry the burden. But what if I told you that real strength, real peace, comes when we release that grip? When we let go, we're making a choice. We're choosing to trust in something larger than ourselves. Letting go is not about giving up. It's about understanding that we don't have to manage every detail or control every twist and turn of our lives. There's freedom in surrendering, a kind of lightness that comes when we say, I don't have all the answers, but I'm willing to let go and trust that I am being guided. Now, embracing faith in this way, faith in God, faith in a purpose we may not yet see, this is where the real work begins. Because faith isn't just a belief we carry on good days. Faith is what we lean into, especially when things aren't going our way. Think about the times you faced a setback or a disappointment. Maybe it was something you prayed about, something you worked hard for, only to watch it fall apart in front of you. In those moments, every instinct we have tells us to control, to fix, to manage. But faith asks something different. Faith asks us to trust even then that there's a reason. When we embrace faith, we're saying that we're willing to trust the journey, not just the destination. We're giving up the need to see the whole plan, allowing ourselves to take each day as it comes. Faith doesn't mean we don't take action. It means that we act from a place of trust rather than fear. It means we can still work hard, still set goals, still move forward, but we do so with an open heart, knowing that we're not alone in this process. And yes, sometimes it will be uncomfortable. Trusting what we can't see can be terrifying. But when we hold on to faith, we begin to see the beauty in surrender. We start to understand that life's detours and delays aren't failures. They're opportunities for growth. They're moments where God is redirecting us, nudging us towards something better, even if we can't understand it right now. 
Embracing faith means knowing that we're supported, even when it feels like everything is uncertain. It's saying, I release my worries about what's coming next because I know I'm being guided, loved, and supported. And when we do this, when we truly let go of the need to control every part of our lives, that's when real transformation happens. We start living with a sense of calm, a deep-rooted peace that comes from knowing that we're part of a plan far bigger than ourselves. We allow room for blessings we didn't even know we needed. And we open ourselves to possibilities we might never have considered if we were too busy trying to control everything. So today, let us release that weight. Let us trust that by letting go. We're actually making room for greater things, for the kind of peace and purpose that only come when we stop trying to manage every outcome. Let us lean into faith, trusting that the journey, with all its twists and turns, is leading us exactly where we're meant to be. Fear can feel all-consuming, can it? It creeps in quietly, whispering doubts into our minds and creating barriers around our hearts. It tells us we're not enough, that we don't deserve the good things, and it convinces us to hold back, to play small. The irony is that fear often masquerades as protection. We think it's keeping us safe, but in reality it shackles us, binding us to a life that is less than what we are truly capable of living. When we let fear dictate our choices, we miss out on the abundance that faith can bring. Imagine standing at the edge of a vast, beautiful landscape. In front of you is a breathtaking path that promises adventure, joy, and fulfillment. But fear stands at the gate, whispering all the reasons you shouldn't step forward. What if you fail, it says. What if you embarrass yourself? It creates scenarios in your mind that feel so real, so convincing that it becomes nearly impossible to imagine taking that first step. But here's the truth, fear is a liar. It doesn't know the depths of your potential or the power of your dreams. It only knows how to keep you safe in your comfort zone, but life was never meant to be lived there. Shifting from fear to faith is about recognizing that while fear may always be a part of our human experience, it does not have to define us. Faith, on the other hand, is a powerful force that invites us to move forward in spite of fear. It whispers to us that we are capable of more than we know, that we are supported in ways we often can't see. Faith asks us to lean into our inner strength and trust that we have what it takes to overcome obstacles. It tells us, you are not alone in this. You are equipped for the journey ahead. To make this shift, we first have to acknowledge our fears give them a voice. When we shine a light on what frightens us, we take away some of their power. It's okay to feel afraid. It's a natural human emotion. But it's crucial that we don't let it paralyze us. By naming our fears, we can then confront them. Ask yourself, what's the worst that could happen? More importantly, what's the best that could happen? Faith invites us to replace that worst case scenario with a vision of possibility. It asks us to reframe our thoughts, to recognize that every fear also carries with it the opportunity for growth and transformation. Let's also consider the power of community in this journey from fear to faith. When we surround ourselves with those who uplift and inspire us, we create a supportive environment where faith can flourish. These connections remind us that we are not alone in our struggles and they encourage us to step beyond our fears. Share your dreams and your fears with trusted friends or mentors. You'll often find that you're not the only one wrestling with doubt. Hearing others' stories of overcoming fear can ignite our own faith and serve as a reminder that it's possible to rise above. Furthermore, embracing faith means engaging in practices that nourish our spirit. It might be prayer meditation or simply spending time in nature, whatever resonates with your heart. These practices help to quiet the noise of fear and allow us to listen for that still, small voice of faith. They create a sacred space where we can connect with something greater than ourselves, fostering a sense of peace and grounding that fear cannot touch. As we make this shift from fear to faith, we'll begin to see the world through a different lens We'll start to recognize that each challenge we face is not a barrier, but a stepping stone. We'll understand that every set that carries within it the seed of a comeback. Faith enables us to see possibility where fear sees failure. It emboldens us to take risks, to pursue dreams, and to trust that the universe has our back. Remember, faith is not the absence of fear, it's moving forward in spite of it. Each step we take in faith chips away at the stronghold that fear has over us. With every act of courage, we build a muscle that grows stronger over time. And soon we find ourselves not just surviving, but thriving. 
we become a testament to the truth that while fear may always be a part of our journey, it does not have the final say. So let us choose faith over fear today and every day. Let us trust in our ability to rise, to adapt, and to embrace the life that awaits us on the other side of fear. Because it's there, in that beautiful space of faith, that we find our true selves and discover the extraordinary life we were meant to live. Taking the first step can often feel like standing on the edge of a great unknown, peering into a vast expanse where anything is possible. It's exhilarating, yes, but it can also be terrifying. Our minds race with questions, what if I stumble? What if I fail? What if I'm not ready? These thoughts can be overwhelming, making it easy to stay rooted in inaction. But here's the truth, the magic happens when we take that leap of faith, even when we don't have all the answers. When we choose to take that first step, we're not just moving physically, we're shifting our mindset. It's a declaration that we believe something greater is at work in our lives. It's an acknowledgement that while we may not see the entire staircase, we trust that the next step will be revealed in time. Taking that initial action, even if it's small, creates momentum. It's like a ripple effect that sends waves of possibility through our lives. The simple act of moving forward opens doors we didn't even know existed. Think of a time in your life when you felt a nudge to pursue something, maybe it was a dream you'd long tucked away or a calling that wouldn't let go of you. What would have happened if you hadn't taken that first step? Often the fear of the unknown can hold us back. But the reality is that many of the most fulfilling moments in our lives come from taking risks and stepping outside of our comfort zones. Each time we embrace that challenge, we expand our horizons, learn new things about ourselves, and discover reservoirs of strength we didn't know we had. But let's not forget that taking the first step isn't about being fearless, it's about moving forward despite the fear. It's about acknowledging that uncertainty is a natural part of the journey. And this is where trust comes in. Trusting that God has a plan for us means believing that our steps are guided, even when we can't see the path ahead. It's understanding that we don't have to navigate this journey alone. By putting our faith in a higher power, we relinquish the burden of having to know everything. We can allow ourselves to be led, to be inspired, and to follow the signs along the way. This is where the real beauty lies in the act of letting go and allowing God to handle the rest. Once we take that first step, we can release the need to control every outcome. We can trust that, even if the journey takes unexpected twists, we're exactly where we need to be. Life is not a straight line, it's a winding path filled with lessons, growth, and new opportunities. When we allow God to take the lead, we open ourselves up to experiences we might never have anticipated, ones that align more closely with our true purpose. Consider the example of a seed planted in the ground. When we plant a seed, we can't see the process of growth happening beneath the surface. The seed must push through the dirt, reach for the light, and draw from the nutrients around it. There's an inherent trust in the natural order of things. Similarly, when we take that first step in faith, we trust that the right conditions will come together for us to grow. We trust that we'll receive what we need to move forward, whether it's support from others, wisdom from within, or divine intervention. This doesn't mean that challenges won't arise. In fact, they often do. But when we approach those challenges with faith, we begin to view them as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. We learn to see setbacks not as failures but as valuable lessons that shape our journey. Each hurdle we encounter serves as a reminder that we are being sculpted into the person we are meant to become. As we navigate our paths, it's important to remain open and flexible. Sometimes the direction we think we should go isn't the one we're meant to follow. When we take that first step and trust God with the rest, we cultivate a sense of resilience. We learn to adapt and shift as circumstances change, understanding that our plans may not always align with the divine plan. This is where the real adventure begins and often where the most profound growth occurs. Let us remember that every great journey begins with a single step. It's not about waiting until we feel ready or until every piece falls into place. It's about acting in faith and trusting that we are being guided. Let's embrace the unknown and take that leap, knowing that we are supported every step of the way. When we step out in faith, we unlock the potential for incredible transformation, not just in our lives, but in the lives of those around us. 
So today I invite you to take that first step toward your dreams, your aspirations, or whatever it is that's been calling your heart. Release the fear, let go of the need to control every outcome, and trust that God has your back. Embrace the journey and remember that with each step you take, you're creating a beautiful path that leads to your purpose. Let God handle the rest and watch how the universe aligns to support you in ways you could never have imagined.